dinner time. I have nothing in my fridge. Looks like it's beer for dinner. <sighs> Can we just get takeaways again? Yes. I don't know what to make for dinner. And it's like seven o'clock at night. <sighs> Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Giselle Gregory and I'm really passionate in talking about how to live a healthier lifestyle and healthy eating and anything health related. I'm really passionate about that. This video is for you if you are looking to live a healthier lifestyle, if you are wanting to figure out how to actually go about planning your meals and planning your week so that you eat better, if you are wanting to learn how to grocery shop more cost effectively and just overall more effectively. And this topic that I'm going to discuss in my video today is actually a topic I've discussed with many friends who've asked for help and it's something we have discussed for hours and it's something I really enjoy talking about and helping others with is how to be more organized and how to shop more effectively and plan your meals so that you can actually set out and achieve the goals that you've put in front of yourself. Also, please don't forget to subscribe and if you stick around till the end of this video, I will include as well my two-week planner that I have made with a full shopping list of everything that you'll need and breakfast, lunch, dinner and snacks for the next two weeks. So if you'd like, you can just follow all the hard work that I'm about to put into plan now. I really don't like grocery shopping, so I always make sure I have a shopping list. It's really organized. It's in order of fresh food and tin food. So when I go to that aisle, I grab everything and the whole process can be over and done with as quick as possible. I usually plan for the week and I go weekly grocery shopping because most of our diet does consist of lots of fresh fruit and vegetables. But since Corona, I cannot stand going to the shop and the whole process of cleaning your stuff afterwards and wearing a mask. So I have lately been planning for two weeks, which has actually been really amazing because I've tried to buy vegetables that last longer so that I do only need to go to the shop every two weeks. And I also plan it in the way that the vegetables that don't last as long, I'll make those meals first and then with vegetables that last longer I'll do those meals in the second week it's actually saved money doing it that way because then you're not running to the shop every third day just for a potato and then 500 rand later you've bought 10 things because I'm prone to doing that I every time I go to the shop for one thing I've spent 500 rand I don't know how it happens so it's better for me especially now with loss of income and everything to just really stick to a budget and so this has actually been really great you're already winning even if you don't change your diet all that much you're already winning by just making a proper shopping list and a proper plan of what you're going to eat for the next two weeks and then only buy the essential thing but if you are wanting to live a healthier lifestyle which if you're still watching i'm assuming that you are i cannot stress enough how important it is to effectively plan in order for this to happen if you have a house full of chocolates and ice cream and snacks obviously you're going to eat them i'm exactly the same i'm i love a balanced lifestyle i love a glass of wine i love chocolates i love ice cream i'm not one to follow any crazy diets and cut out lots of food from my diet but if you decide one week you don't want to eat sugar and your house is full of sugar obviously you're going to snack on those kind of things so it's important when you do your grocery shopping to shop according to the goals that you want to set for yourself so on that a tip that i really can recommend to you is buy vegetables that last for a long time so when i go shop i'll get lots of sweet potatoes firstly they're a great a carb to incorporate in your diet they promote gut health they're high in fiber have cancer fighting properties they are rich in antioxidants sweet potato is a wonderful food and it lasts and lasts and lasts for more than two weeks so that's a great thing to stock up on there's so much you can do with sweet potato as well butternut is also something i buy lots of also lasts forever um, also lots of vegetarian dishes you can make with butternut or it's great just to roast up and then you can combine it with chicken or whatever protein that you're having. 
Uh, gem squashes also last really long, carrots last really long. So get those kind of vegetables, then you're still eating lots of vegetables in your diet, but you don't have to eat everything in two days. It's been getting so warm, our house is freezing because it gets no sun, except for this room that I'm in, which I've chosen for the good lighting. But I don't know if it's the combo of the sun or like nerves from filming, but I'm like overheating right now. <laughs> Anyways, I've made a list because there's a whole lot of things I want to discuss with you because like I said, this is something I love talking about. Another thing that I do so when I go and set out my two week plan of what we're going to eat is I'll start by going into the kitchen and seeing what we have and then I'll come up with two or three or four meals depends how much in my cupboard of things that are actually in our cupboard. That also saves you money instead of looking at recipes online and next thing your shopping list is three pages long because you need every single ingredient on the list i will go into the kitchen and see great okay i've got a sweet potato and a butternut what can i make with that and then i'll write down the meal okay i can make a butternut curry i can make roast veg with chicken i can do creamy pasta with the butternut and then i'll see okay from those three recipes i only need chicken and herbs and then i'll put that on my shopping list so that also is a great way to save you money just using what's actually in your cupboard and you'd be surprised if you get creative you can whip up a meal literally with your cupboard being virtually empty like this week for example i didn't feel like going shopping fridge looked virtually empty but i just spent about 15 minutes actually going through the cupboard seeing what was there and i've managed to come up with six meals so i only need to go shop on saturday so that i was so relieved about because great <laughs> it was a few extra days before i had to go grocery shopping because i'm not a fan and i was really surprised and impressed with myself that if you just think out the box and put your mind to it you can actually get a lot of meals out your cupboard anyway so let's cut to it so this is what i do so i will start i've got a little weekly planner over here <laughs> So I will go into the kitchen and see, okay, I've got butternut, I can make butternut curry. So I'll write that down. So I'll start with things I actually have in my cupboard and I'll fill in the blanks. Slight disclaimer, I say that I don't follow any diets. I'm more just about a balanced lifestyle. But due to various reasons, we've had to go see some specialists this week and doctors actually place Grant on a paleo diet. So the meal planner that I leave at the end of the video is gonna be a two week meal planner on a paleo diet it's taken a little bit longer than usual usually I can do a whole week's plan in about 15 20 minutes this has taken a lot longer because usually I'll just scan through Pinterest and be like oh chicken casserole great okay I need chicken and some veg whereas now I've actually had to go into the recipes and look what I need because there's certain foods that you can't eat on a patio diet but I'm really excited for this little challenge of following a diet because I really felt like I needed a challenge firstly for this month. I love setting challenges for the month and I, I feel like I need something in my life so this I'm excited for this challenge and also it seems like a really cool diet it seems very balanced. It's basically 50% fruit and veg, 25% protein and 10% carbs and it will be good carbs so things like sweet potatoes it is a bit tricky though because for me planning breakfast is really easy because it's usually oats and all round flakes and basically all of those aren't allowed on the paleo diet that has been the trickiest part is now replanning my breakfast especially considering my cupboard is filled with oats and all brand flakes at the moment so i guess i'll just eat that and i'll make something else for grant other disclaimer this is not water this is a gin and tonic <laughs> i'm overheating so much that i figured i needed a refreshing drink and it is past two o'clock and what's better than having a gin and tonic and planning your meals anyways so what i will do like i say is use my weekly planner write breakfast lunch dinner and snacks that is also another tip is incorporating snacks i didn't do that beginning phases of being married but I've learned that for Grant six meals a day is way better for him so I now actually incorporate snacks whilst I find he will just go nibble on stuff in the fridge and eat really unhealthy so you may be thinking but Giselle this is going to take so much time to sit down and plan out the meals and look what's in my cupboard and look at recipes on Pinterest and yes it does take some time I usually will sit on a Sunday it's actually my favorite part of a Sunday. It gets me ready for the new week, but not everyone is like me. Not everyone loves lists like I do and planning like I do. So I understand your personality is gonna be different to mine and that might not be something fun for you, 
but I really just want to urge you to try it because it may take half an hour out of your Sunday to actually sit and figure out what you're going to make for the next week or two and actually make a proper shopping list. But I'm doing it for you for the next two weeks so don't forget to stay at the end and I'll give you mine. So you won't have to do it now for the next two weeks. So I understand that it might not sound ideal or exciting but it saves you so much time in the long run. I found if I don't do this, I would sit at the end of a long day and go, Ugh, what am I going to make for dinner? And then I'd start looking through recipes and see, oh, I don't have that ingredient. I don't have that ingredient. Okay, let me quickly run to the shop and get that ingredient. And then you anyway spent an hour on a Tuesday trying to get your dinner ready. Whereas if you sit for half an hour to an hour on a Sunday, go and do your grocery shopping, have everything you need, know what you're going to be cooking and eating for the next two weeks. It actually saves you so much time in the long run. You don't have to give it a second thought in the week. You know what you're going to do, you know the ingredients are in the fridge and you can just get going. And the other benefits of course is you don't have things in your house that you don't want to eat and so you naturally without even having to try that hard just t tend to eat better. Do you think treats are important? If you completely cut out everything you're going to be going on Mr. Delivery and getting a yummy snack delivered to your house or popping over to the shop anyway. So make provisions for that in your shopping list to get a tub of ice cream or something to treat yourself but then make it that you only have it on weekends or every second or third night. Try and make it that you don't have it every day or if you have it every day, who am I to judge? Just maybe have a smaller helping. But another tip is don't have something different every single day. It keeps it a lot simpler and a lot more cost effective if you maybe for argument's sake buy a box of Auburn Flex and a box of oats and you alternate it oats one day Auburn Flex the next day and so on and so forth then you are keeping it varied but you're only having to buy two things for breakfast just as an example now I tend to change up but I will cook enough so that we have leftovers and then I'll use the leftovers a smaller helping for lunch the next day and then it's one of the days I don't have to worry about lunch also I love to try new recipes. I always will sit on Pinterest and look for one new recipe, but keep it simple for yourself. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't be cooking these super elaborate Jamie Oliver meals. Do what you know, do what you love. Um, I will usually, like I say, go look in my pantry, see what there is. I always have butternut, so usually every week or every second week we're eating butternut curry, which I've done a video, I'll put the link up above, um, of how to make the butternut curry. It's really cost effective and it's really easy. So I will usually just go and see, okay, this is what I have in my fridge, write out a couple of dinners, and then where there's blanks, so that's when I will hop over to Pinterest and I'll start scrolling. Most of my recipes for this two week planner are from Pinterest, because like I say, we try in paleo, which I've never done before. So I've had to actually go and look up pretty much everything to make sure that we are following or sticking to the diet correctly. And then when you're doing your next two week planner, you can almost use the exact same thing if you enjoyed the meals, because I always get grant to rate my meals. If it got a high rating, it'll go on a planner again. Again, if you didn't like it I won't make it again so same thing for yourself you can pretty much keep your planner and go okay I didn't love that meal scrap that I'm gonna replace it with this and then it's not like you have to sit from scratch every week and replan all your stuff another thing you can do is after two weeks you might still have some ingredients left in your cupboard if you've bought a big bag of rice and a big tin of pasta you'll still have leftovers then you can go look at that what's in your pantry and use that for your your new planner that you do another thing that i do if i need inspiration is there are so many personal trainers who share their meal plans with you i find a lot of them are quite elaborate or things that we don't eat or it's like i say something different every day and i like to keep it really simple for myself so i I will take their eating plan and I will just tweak it so that it suits my lifestyle. So you can do the same with everything I've told you, tweak it to suit your lifestyle. Doing something like this is going to save you money because you're not buying unnecessary things and it will just make you stick to the meal plan that you've set out versus getting takeaways because you have no idea what to cook and it's now six o'clock at night and you don't have half the ingredients in your fridge. All right, so let's get to it. Let me show you what I do. that in real time just so you can see like how quickly I put it together and okay 
it might take you some practice it might not be quick at first but you'll get the hang of it <laughs> breakfast was hard I, ha I actually paused a bit here and there because like I say usually I would just do oats and all bran and eggs and rotate that so what I've done is I found this amazing looking recipe on Pinterest for sweet potato bowls so I'm gonna try that for the first time so just to quickly read what I've got here so I'm gonna do sweet potato bowls twice out of seven days I'm gonna do a mint and pear smoothie twice with boiled eggs out of the seven days a banana and protein powder smoothie twice and eggs on spinach with bacon once and that's breakfast and it pretty much is only it's four different things for the seven days then for lunches I'm gonna make a big batch of soup then I can just eat soup three of the seven days for lunch I um, also love doing Mexi bowls for me that's just a super easy throw together meal of whatever's in your fridge some roast veggies which you can make a big batch of roast veggies for dinner one night and then the leftover roast veggies you use for mixy bowls so I'm gonna do that twice and then the other lunches is just leftovers so that's how easy lunch can be and then for dinners like I say butternut curry always seems to land up on there and then I've looked up a couple of recipes on printers so I'm gonna be trying zucchini cabanara uh, cauliflower wraps with curry chicken and Moroccan chicken then I've got two blanks here and snacks I'm just gonna get some nuts and some fruit it's a little bit trickier now usually we would do yogurts and a to like whole wheat toast with peanut butter but all of those things are out the window the reason that I'm showing you that I've got the two blanks is so now I will sit on Pinterest and I'll look for a couple of recipe ideas I will pretty much because I'm doing for two weeks I'll rotate some of these things so that when I make my shopping list I'm not having to get meals for 14 different things I'm only having to get meals for maybe 10 different things and it will just make the shopping list a lot easier then the next thing I do is I scan over my planner quickly and I see okay so I've got sweet potatoes already I've got mints I've got pears already I've got frozen cabbage and bananas already so for breakfast literally the only thing I need to buy is I have eggs already so I literally for breakfast just need to buy spinach and that's it just spinach so then I will start my shopping list and go with spinach then for lunch I have chicken already I've got sweet potato carrots and butternut already which I'll put in the the soup so then I'll maybe just get some green beans and some baby marrows for the soup and then I'll put that on my shopping list so now for seven days of breakfast and three lunches there's literally like three things on my shopping list again this is all going to be personalized to your shopping list but I'm just trying to illustrate to you like how easy it can be and how if you smart about it you don't need to be spending like an excessive amount on eating well it doesn't need to be complicated I think I always stress that in my videos just keep it simple and um, then for the cauliflower wraps I'm gonna need cauliflower so I'll write that on my list I'm now gonna actually need to head over to Pinterest because like I say usually I would just make this really fast because I know what we always eat but I just need to make sure that everything I'm putting in is paleo diet friendly so I'm gonna now make my shopping list and complete my weekly planner I'm gonna time it so that you can use it as some inspiration for you on how long it takes and how then for the rest for the next two weeks once you've done, done your shopping you don't need to think about what to eat and what to make and it will probably save you an immense amount of time one last thing i wanted to mention was even though on my planner i've got here like monday tuesday wednesday on monday we're gonna have pumpkin muffins or whatever the case may be I don't stick to it to the T this is just a planner this is just so that I know okay we've got 14 breakfast lunches and dinners this is what's on my shopping list then I usually just write something on a small piece of paper and um, with what I'm gonna eat for breakfast lunch and dinners and I put it on my fridge or I even just put this on my fridge and then when it comes to the day I can look at my list and go Oh, I don't feel like a mint smoothie today, but I feel like a banana smoothie and then I'll make that so I don't stick to it to the T It's just to help you plan to help you not buy things unnecessary because I know like I can even make my shopping list to the T Where I know I've got everything for snacks breakfast lunch and dinner and I'll stand in the shop and I'll be like Oh, that's a good special. Oh That looks yummy and then you always buy something you don't need to buy but it's it's a lot better when you have a list and when you can tell yourself I don't need to buy that because I've got everything that I need on my list versus just walking into the shop with no plan no idea and then just buying a million things and you still can't really make anything from it 
the only thing on that is like I said earlier in the video just make sure that even though you can tweak it to what you feel like eating that day make sure that you at least cook your recipes with the vegetables that go off sooner first and then you can use your butternut and sweet potatoes and everything later on but I think that's pretty much it for me <laughs> I've, I've gone through the list of notes that I've made and the tips that I wanted to give I think it's gonna make a lot more sense once I type it all up and it'll probably make more sense to me what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna leave the just it all in the links for what uh, you can then download the meal planner. Um, I'll put the recipes there as well and I will also put the full shopping list so then you can just create your own shopping list because you might have those things in your pantry already and then you can just get the things you need if you wanna follow it to a T. I want to just inspire you to to give this a go, even if it's just, just try, start small and just do one week. Just see for yourself how, although it might be daunting to sit down and like make an actual meal plan for yourself, how much time you save and how you'll actually like get through a week and stick to your goals. It's just so much easier. The beginning of lockdown felt that we had to treat ourselves. I was like, oh, well, we can't go out to wine farms and we can't do all the things we usually do. So I'm gonna buy packets of chips and ice creams to have on weekends. And I bought all these things I never used to buy. And <laughs> we found ourselves having stuff every single evening because it was there. Um, instead of just the plan, let's just have it on weekends. So it is a lot easier to eat healthier when the things aren't in your house. But another thing I wanted to say, sorry, I thought I was done. This is a tip from a very good friend of mine because my husband has the biggest sweet tooth of anyone I know. He absolutely loves anything that's chocolate. So I have learned as well from being married to him for nearly two years now. There's no point in going like absolutely no sugar or no sweets and stuff. I've rather learned, especially now with all the baking going on during lockdown, just to rather bake him something nice every week. Then you have control of how, what you put in it, how much you put in it. So I've been trying to bake him really yummy things, but that are have a healthy alternative. I've done beetroot brownies. I made sweet potato brownies last week, which are awesome because a brownie at the shop is filled with processed sugar and refined carbs and processed flour. Whereas this I made, okay, it should have been with coconut flour, but I'm just using normal flour, but next time I make it, I'll use coconut flour. It had coconut sugar instead of normal sugar. It had sweet potatoes, so it still had a vegetable. And they were delicious. They were super chocolatey and gooey, and he really loved it. And if you've got that sweet tooth and you love like a little treat in the evening or in the afternoon after your meal, then do that, but then rather just get healthy alternatives or bake something yourself that you can control how much sugar you put in and look for recipes that have less sugar versus something at the shop like a triple chocolate Woody's cake, which is amazing. But that's probably like a layer of sugar with a layer of sugar with a layer of sugar where you could make something at home for yourself and it's healthier and you still get that sweet craving satisfied. Anyways, I love talking about this topic. I can go on and on and on all day. But my point really of it is I just want to inspire you, I want to encourage you, you've got this. I'm kind of in the zone, I don't know if anyone else is with me right now, where lockdown has been, how long has it been? It's like three months, it feels like a year. Where the beginning of lockdown, I was just like, Ugh, what's the point of anything? Where I'm kind of getting to that point where like this is the new normal and things are reopening and improving. So I'm like super fired up and ready to go to like reset goals and reset challenges for myself. And so I challenge you, I challenge you to give this a try, see how it saves you time, see how it saves you money, see how it just makes you feel better, see how it helps you uh, actually set out with your eating goals that you may have made and your healthier lifestyle that you wanna live by. Give it a try for June. Let's set some challenges in June and smash them out the park. Thank you very much for watching. I hope everything I've said has made sense. I had so many notes here. I don't know if it all is going to come together. But please don't forget to subscribe. Please share this video with anyone you think will benefit from it. Ask them to subscribe. Share the love. Really appreciate it. And have a wonderful day and week weather. Bye. One last thing I wanted to mention was... What was it? Some bultong dried meat. My name is just uh, my name. I can't even say it. Oh, this is very awkward. You only make it feel
you like you could never leave. 